Up north in terms of paddy rice is going bad in Upper East and parts of the northern region. There is bumper harvest, but without storage facilities and ready market, farmers are now wooing small-scale buyers with guinea fowls. Our reporter Peter Kwadato has the rest of the story. According to the farmers, the Planting for Food and Jobs program has tripled rice production in the area. Although the grains are ready for harvest, they remain on the field as major rice buyers are nowhere to be found. For weeks, the shoulders of roads and homes are inundated with heaps of harvested rice, but farmers watch their produce go bad due to lack of storage facilities. Some sleep on their farms and along the roadside to get buyers, but each day ends in disappointment. Me and my farmers, we are hopeless because as you can see this rice, we don't know what we are going to do with them. They are already becoming moldy. When the rains come now, we'll just pack our things and go. It's full of moles, as you can see. The rice is getting spoiled. There are no storage places. We cannot also convey it somewhere and go and store it. That is the situation of rice farmers this year. Any other smallholder farmers around Kobangda here, you go to Gulungbisi Valley's Passion Quay, all down to Tamale and other places. We are facing the same problem. I have harvested about 150, and then the rest 150 is still sitting there. In fact, uh, I have a, a breakdown of a combined harvester, which one, two, we don't have any part in the country. Anything that is breakdown, you have to import it from China. Before it reached, the rice have gone bad. But now, either I'll get somebody to be hired to continue, or finally, fire will have to come and harvest it. But management of Avanash rice mills in the northern region would not speak on camera. Small scale buyers who are the only option are now bluffing. The amazing link is that we address problems in silos. Agriculture is a system. And we don't have a systemic approach. So the mechanism for increasing output seems to be a reasonable response, good response. There's no functioning warehousing system and there is no solution to markets. We do not have an arrangement where the state intervenes in a massive buying exercise, for example, for strategic stocks that enables pricing to be stabilized in the glut period. The chunk of the rice remained on the field and farmers fear they might lose their produce to bushfires. The farmers are blaming government for being hypocritical with its planting for food and jobs program. The head of programs and advocacy for the Peas and Farmers Association says the disappointed farmers are threatening to hit the streets if government's intervention doesn't come anytime soon. The agitations are so massive that me myself as farmer leader I'm afraid of what will happen next. You know, we think that stakeholders in the sector of agriculture always take the farmers for granted. We have seen teachers going to demonstration and government will listen. We are seeing uh, nurses going to demonstration and government is listening. It means that government wants us to go to demonstration and we will go on demonstration and this will not be one week, one, uh, two days or four days. We are going to continue until he listens to us. Because we can't be working, uh, uh, wasting our money at the end of the day, uh, we, we get the produce and then they will go and import rice and come and fill the country and then we will be suffering. Importation of rice in Ghana takes 82% of all imports into the country. Ghana spent $1.1 billion alone on rice importation in 2017, according to statistics available to the Trade Ministry.